Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo. Today I'm going to talk to you about Venus. But what are all you guys doing here? It's called Venus for a reason. We're going on a big old family vacation. Aw, oh, sounds fun. So, let's go to Venus. Guys, enough! Even at its closest point, Venus is 24 million miles from Earth. It might be the closest planet to Earth, but it's gonna be a while. Yeah. Guys, we have to put over. I have to go number three. What? Number three? Is that even a thing? No. The bathroom's in the back, Justin. Go do whatever a number three is. But Hey, where's Steve? He texted me a few minutes ago. Turns out he got on the wrong flight and went to some other place that started with a V. This doesn't look like Venus at all. It smells like old lady perfume. What? Looks like it's just the old three amigos. So, where are we headed to again? Venus. It's the second closest planet to the sun. Close to the sun? That must mean it's hot. A shout. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Even hotter than Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. Whoa. On the surface, it can reach close to 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's weird. What? That the planet closest to the sun isn't hotter. I wonder why that is. Dude, I knew there was something I forgot to tell you. Venus is hotter because of its atmosphere. Its atmosphere is mostly made of carbon dioxide and some nitrogen. The atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect, which means it traps the sun's warmth and makes it extremely hot on the surface. Great, so we're traveling all this way to a planet we can't even land on. I should have gone with Steve. I kinda agree. This planet is no joke. Even the clouds on Venus are crazy. Venus has clouds? You don't hear of many planets having those. Right you are. Venus does have clouds kinda like Earth. But Venus's clouds are made of sulfuric acid that pour acid rain. But because Venus is so hot, the rain evaporates and never touches the surface. How about we don't even touch the surface and just get out of here? This planet is freaking me out. I think you're a little late, but we're here. Who dares try to speak to the almighty Venus? Oh, pleasant and gracious Venus. It is I. Andy of the House of Ice Cubes, third in his name. We come seeking answers regarding your almighty awesomeness. Uh, get to the point, what do you want? Uh, can we ask you questions and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, totally, go ahead. Sorry about the whole uh, screaming scary thing. Ooh, I was getting worried there. I know this guy gets hot, but that was another level, but Hey, Venus, what's up with the mask? What, you don't like it? I, I can take it off. It's no big deal. No, 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 you don't have to. Yeah, there we go. How's that? 20 bucks says he's got another mask under there. Yeah. Hey, Venus, my first question is about your name. How'd you get a name like Venus? Well, almost all the planets in the solar system are given the names of Roman gods or their attendants. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Ah, love. I think I was in love once. Really? What was her name? I forget. What? That's not a good start, but keep going. She worked at a TJ Maxx. Or, or the zoo. I can't remember, but she had two eyes, a nose, hair. Aren't you just describing all people? Indeed I am, Andy. Indeed I am. But I know love when I feel it. Do you really want to know what love is? More than anything in the world. Tell us. Well, it's really quite simple. Love is when you make lots of garlic bread. And all day it's in your head and you never can forget that garlic bread. It's the greatest event that you'll never ever get Gonna eat a whole loaf and get the garlic bread sweats And when I'm done eating, I might even make more I'll even eat that piece that I dropped on the floor, but don't Could you stop that? I'm not gonna take this anymore! I think we get it now, right Andy? Uh, 
I finally know what love is. Yeah, but we wasted two minutes of this video on a song about garlic bread. But it was awesome, right? Yeah, it kind of was, actually. So, Venus, you look totally different than Earth, but do you have anything in common with it? Well, actually, I do. I'm made up of the same rocky material as Earth. But what's even cooler is that I'm roughly the same size as Earth, too. Roughly the same size? Come on, who's bigger? All right, well, Earth is slightly bigger. Whoa. Earth rules. Yeah, but I do something that Earth doesn't. You wear 48 masks? No. Make songs about garlic bread? What? No, I spin backwards. I spin in the opposite direction. Scientists aren't sure why but it makes me pretty unique. Okay, one point to Venus in the cool competition, but next up is moons. How many of those do you have? Well, actually, I don't have any. Zero moons? Ha! Boom! Earth wins again! Well, how many moons does Earth have? One, which is exactly one more than you have. Well, I do have something that Earth doesn't. What's that? Volcanoes! <laughs> Come on, Earth has a ton of those. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of knew that already, but not as many as me. Venus is home to more volcanoes than any other planet in our solar system. Okay, well there's one thing Earth has that you do not, my friend. What's that? I am not sure if you heard what I said. This truck is filled with garlic bread. I am not sure if you noticed this, that I like bread and garlic. No vampires can eat this stuff. See, it protects from Dracula. So if he comes to bite your neck, kill him with garlic bread. That wasn't even the same song. It had vampires and stuff. How many songs about garlic bread do you have? Only two. Well, the second song's gonna be stuck in my head for years. Speaking of years, a day is measured when a planet does a complete rotation on its axis. For example, it takes Earth 24 hours to do this. Well, it takes Venus 243 Earth days to do a complete rotation. Whoa! Now a year is measured when a planet completely revolves or orbits around the sun. Well, it takes Venus roughly 225 Earth days to do that. So, technically, a day on Venus is longer than a year. Hey, that reminds me. We gotta go get Steve. We left him in that other V place. I wonder how he's... Hey, guys, check out my new ride. Yeah, it looks like things are finally starting to come up, Steve. Venus has more volcanoes than any other planet in the solar system, it got me itching to do an experiment. Okay, but why are you wearing glasses? Well, when I first started making videos, I didn't need glasses, but I've been making them for so long that I kind of need glasses now, but I don't wear them because kids are going to be like, why are you wearing glasses? And... <laughs> Pretend I didn't even ask. Okay. So, what's that thing you're holding? It's the stem I play erupt kit from this cool site called Hand to Mind. With this kit, you could erupt a volcano, dig for fossils, make a model of the Earth, and do a total of 15 different experiments. So, what are you gonna do with it? Well, first I'm gonna open it, then I'm gonna look at it, then I'm gonna take the stuff out of it, then I'm gonna look at the stuff in it, then I'm gonna take the stuff out, and then I'm gonna... All right, zip it. Just open the box already. Okay. <laughs> So you may need to finish. Really? That was surprisingly easy. I know. This kit had pretty much everything I needed and gave me a bunch of simple steps to make this. Are you ready to make it explode? Of course. Let's do this. Ooh, I can't wait to see this thing explode. All right, count it down. Three. Two. One. Oh man, 
And the coolest part is we made this whole entire thing and we could do 14 different more experiments. Man, I wish Steve was here to see this. Hey, uh, any chance you can make a hospital out of one of those kits? Just, uh, asking for a friend. What? This video was sponsored by the awesome people at www.handtomind.com. Want to get your own erupt kit like the one in my video? Visit handtomind.com. They have a bunch of other cool STEM kits there too. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. It's red and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it. You can use it in Mr. DeMeo's Teespring store where he sells a bunch of cool stuff from his videos like this bird shirt, Roberta pillow, chicken farm shirt, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, check out Mr. DeMeo's Teacher's Pay Teacher site to take the Venus quiz. He has a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets for his other videos there too. Plus, you can download both of those horrible garlic bread songs there. Check the description box for a link. And last, this video could not be made without the help from Mr. DeMeo's patrons on Patreon. Especially, Gavin Eshte, Jamil Panizai. Harry, Billy, and Mora, Santi Suk Siriu, Autumn and Riley, Grace and Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Creative Devin and Zach T, Jacoboy Lorenzo C, Kai Kim, Chris F, Wesley C, Dean Scandalakis, Aria and Kieran, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Michelle and Conrad, Cass, Gunner, Autumn, and Ainsley, Harry, Zeno the Shark, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Evan Lee, Elijah Robert, Nora C, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Matthew and James Mondiello, Kevin Meidel, Michael Kerner, and Mrs. Lanfears Llamas. Sign up for Mr. DeMeo's Patreon by visiting the link in the description box. If you sign up, you can see videos early, pick his next topic, get your name in a video, and more. Check the description box for a link.